Come to any Verizon store and choose from the largest selection of 4G LTE devices anywhere. Verizon has the most 4G LTE coverage and access to the hottest content and thousands of apps, powering the largest selection of 4G LTE devices. Verizon, built so you can rule the air. Indulge all you want. Now, there's no need to hold back. New revolutionary scope with dual blast technology. Obliterate strong food on you, kill bad breath germs, leaving your breath minty fresh. Hey, sorry I'm late, baby. I'm at the So there's no trace of levity. Hey, I thought I did the dishes. Blast away strong food odors and bad breath germs with new scope dual blast. Also, try Crest Complete Extra Wipe with scope dual blast. I'm in the car. How do I get ready to swap? Introducing a brand new way to trade in a car, AutoTrader.com's trade-in marketplace. Their free offer on your car is 100% backed by AutoTrader.com. Fill in some information about your vehicle and get your offer today. Simply have a participating dealer verify your information and then use that offer to trade in your car or walk off with a check. Imagine having an offer before you walk into a dealership. Get yours today, AutoTrader.com. Do you dream in chocolate? Discover Lindor Truffles. When you break its shell, Lindor's lusciously smooth center starts to melt. And so will you. Lindor Truffles, from the master Swiss chocolatiers at Lind. Can't get enough storage wars? Head to AETV.com to get the characters' bios and visit their store with a digital tour. Test your skills by playing the What's It Worth and Locker Match games. So head to AETV.com slash storage wars today. What is it? This is an oil rig helmet. Dennis, what are, what are these things worth? Realistically, I think if you put the pair together, you probably could get maybe 800 to 1,000. <laughs> That's great, actually, because I paid a lot less than that. But regardless of what you told me they're worth, I'm keeping them. I mean, they're just too cool. 800 to 1,000 dollars. These things are not only interesting, it turns out they're valuable. So, Dave, eat your heart out. Best. Thank you. Good to see you, Barry. Bye now. Hey, Barry. Hey, Dave. I don't know f about these phonographs. So, Barry gave the lowdown on his antique guy. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So, I gotta find out what it's worth. All right, guys, let's take a look at this for you, then. It's got a nice design on it. You look at, like, era 1920s. Uh, yeah, this is, what do you think, kind of a department store? It's a di was distributed by a department store, yeah. so kind of a mass market, sort uh, of. So this was your everyday photograph? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, average yeah, person yeah. Right. Out, right. Let's see if it works, then, shall we? We'll see the heads on back in front here, so whoever has been using this couldn't have sounded very good because it's uh, in reverse. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was me. I guess the uh, major point for you is, uh, uh, what's it worth? Yeah. Are going to sell it? I, would, I sell everything. If okay. I, go, if I collected everything, I would be broke. <laughs> then you might get 400 bucks. <laughs> I paid $300 for the unit. That's $100 with the additional items I had in there. I had another couple hundred dollars worth of stuff. So I'm looking at 600 bucks on a $300 unit. That's pretty good for you. I'm not going to keep it. It's going to make you right It looks like this thing might be worth 400 bucks. I'm just hoping Brandy doesn't want to keep it. I mean, it doesn't do me any good to hang on to things. I got to move them. I got to get them out of the store. I got to get them sold. And I got to get the money. Sorry, Jared. I'm keeping the photograph. Yeah, right up through here. I found an antique bike in the storage unit that I bought. I can't wait to find out how good this payday is going to be. Hey, how you doing? I'm David with Newport and Simon Gallery. We talked about this. Beautiful vintage bike I got over here. Oh. And I'm trying to find out, though. You know, just basically, is it original? Is it worth restoring? Trying, just trying to get a professional opinion. Um, this is what I would call a Franken bike. A Franken bike, okay. A Franken bike? What the f is he talking about? It's pretty much just that, pieced together by odds and ends. The frame itself is made. 50s, early 50s. Mm -hmm. 
and everything else is kind of just thrown onto it. The back end's a conversion. So that would have been a factory Schwinn conversion, but it's still a conversion. Probably would have been a little girl's bike or something like that. Ah, you got the original seat on there. That's a good thing. So this is almost like a, 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 a bicycle that's been through 10 marriages and divorces then, right? A little, a little ad in here. It's something something to that effect. Okay. Lost a little bit in one, gained some in the other. I don't like what I'm hearing. I really thought this was going to be a money maker. So how much is this bike worth? In current condition, 200, 250 if you clean it up a little bit. Not what I was really looking forward to hearing, but uh, it is what it is. This guy's basically telling me my bike's a piece of Joe, thanks for your time. No problem. And I'll wait. Yeah, let me wheel this uh, fine specimen out of here. I thought a lot more of this when I bought it, but I bet I still did better than Barry. No. The big loser was Dave Hester, who took a total hit of 125 bucks. Gerald Sheets walked away empty-handed. Jared and Brandy had their antique photograph appraised for a $300 profit. And the big winner was Barry Weiss, whose hard hats could fetch him a profit of 350 bucks. Yeah, the way back to my storage locker, I come across a guy who's working on this mini bike. Is the bike for sale? Is it for sale? Yes, sir. Sure it is, if you want. How much are you asking? Well, what, 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 what we can get people with. In his present state, $50. That'll work. Serious? Yeah. I've just always had a passion for motorcycles since I was 12 years old. So I was feeling pretty good. You were already doing wheelies. Hey, Barry. Yeah. And then who comes along to spoil the moment? Right, if you bought that for $50, I think that's a good $45 off. The motor's in the car, Dave. You wouldn't pay $50 for this with a motor? I'll be riding circles around you. Did you not have toys when you were a kid? Not had toys. You ready? All right, go for it. Not too Fast. Look at you. Somebody get a picture of David Hester actually helping his neighbor. All right, man. Here we go. Very more of a collectible than that bike is. Hey, you want to race? I got three. I got three flats. If you got no motor. Really? It'll be pretty easy. Tw Twenty bucks. Yeah, I got you by ten years. Come on, let's go. All right, one, two. Pass the truck. Pass the truck. Hang on. Hang on. You. You ran over my. Send a bill to rags and riches. When storage units are abandoned, the treasures within are put up for auction. 400. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, coming up. Look, it's Dave Hester. I'm only interested in this one if Daryl is. I got my eye on it. No Nick Swindler. Randy took the lead on the processing.